gonna share with you how to make another basket for your sewing room. This basket you can use it for your sewing clip or whatever little thing that you don't want to put in somewhere and then you cannot find it. So the paper here I use the zero paper with this eight and half inches by eleven inches. I'm gonna fold it in half. And I'm going to fold it again. This little thing with a few measurements, okay? But it's not that hard to do. So the two fold is on my left and then the big fold right in front of me that I'm going to mark here on the bottom. Two and a half inches. From two and a half inches, I'm gonna go up an inch and a quarter. And then on the side here, I'm going to bring it in three quarter of an inch. And I'm going up and in and three quarter of an inch. Okay. Now you're going to connect an inch and a quarter to one inch and three quarter of an inch. On the top here, you're going to bring it in an inch and three quarter up an inch. You're going down one inch. And you're going to connect one inch and a quarter to one inch. Okay. So now you can curl this to here and then from here you're going to curl this area. You can use 9 inches place, you're going to curve this area. But I'm going to use, I'm going to freehand and curve this, okay? So I'm going to go oh, just like that, not too crazy, like that. And then on this side, you're going to curve this pointy here to here. How simple that is. I'm going to upload the templates for you in my description box so you don't lose your hair. I'm going to go here, cut this out. After you cut out a template, you're going to cut exactly the same like that. You're going to cut two interfacing because I want it thicker. Okay, so using this one because I'm, I have a fabric that thick, so I'm using this as like a light way. This is um, interfacing number 911FF. go and cut this out so i'm using this fabric for the main side and you're going to do exactly for the the lining okay so the interface and some people ask me why it's sticky on the iron because you put it in the wrong side this one is rough like sandy kind of and this is smooth the smooth side facing up the sandy side facing down to the wrong side of the fabric iron on it now when i iron this lightweight interfacing I turn it down to medium low 
and I go slow. I just came out and the flower outside, it smells so good and I, I smell it. And this is what happened. I snip, snip, snip like it sounds like I'm using drug, but nope. I just went outside. And this is the allergy season too. Okay, so now when you iron, after you iron this on, take it easy, okay? After you iron around like this, and if you want to make sure if it's iron on the fabric or not, you can go around the outer and then lift this up. See this? This is not. Then you are iron some more. I'm going to go like this. As long as I'm cutting around like this. Don't worry about it's not even or whatever. When you sew something, don't put too much pressure on it. As long as it if you can, when sometime when you sew in something and it's something bother you, walk away, come back. After I cut it out, it's like this. It's an oval, okay? And you get a second piece of fa fabric. It's a lining. This is also very thick too. I am placing like this. And then you go on around, you cut this out, and then you place the interface in, in the back of this. Exactly like this, okay? So everyone, I have two pieces exactly like this. Now we go on to sew together. I'm not gonna cut. I'm gonna sew. So you're gonna fold this side to this side. Knit together. And then on this side, do exactly the same. You can see, you can see the, um, the interface and underneath here. Or you can get the marker to mark it. Right, you're going to do the same thing to this side, okay? Just make sure you do on this. Now you're going to sew this side down. And then on here, you're going to sew this side down. And then on here, sew in this. And then this one right here, you're going to sew this. Everyone, after I sew on this, that's so simple. That's why I don't show you, and you don't need to look at the sewing machine. So now, when you iron this, don't cut this out. Leave it there. I like the thickness. So fold it in this way, like that. Okay, and then you go on to iron it. Lap it on the side so you can iron. You go on this side, okay? You go on the side that it. It make it even, you know. Okay. This way, because this is the where the oval. You go in this way, it's gonna come down. You're gonna go in this way. It's even. You see? I love it. It's so easy. And now look at this one. Okay, if you go in this way, you're gonna miss it. This okay? You're gonna go this way. Then it go on to meet on the top. So the flap is very important too. So I end this. Very nice. Okay. Now you go into bring back. You're gonna do the same thing to the line and what I already did. Okay. We go on to sew it together. So I'm gonna turn this one. The right side. Go in the top this right side and make sure all the sole line meet together nicely, okay? And together. 
Remember, we only follow the interface and when we sew, so don't worry about anything else. Make sure the sew line is touching the sew line like this, okay? Like this. It have to meet up here. And then everything else, we push it down after. The first thing you gotta make sure is staying together, the sew line first. Like this, okay? everyone after I clip all together it doesn't have to be even as long as you have the interface in here because we're going to follow the interfacing and we're going to sew on one side right here we're going to leave it open about I would do about I would do two and a half inches so now you're gonna follow the interfacing all around and we're going to sew to here and we're gonna leave this open okay so let's just do it Follow the interface and everyone. Okay, here we want. I'm gonna go and trim around in the area right here that way I left it open. I'm not gonna trim that. I'm gonna go around this. Just trim a little bit. You don't need to do much. You want to make it more sturdy. Make sure you add the thicker in the face. I'm gonna make an appointment to the senior center so I can um, give it to the senior. Okay, in this area right here, I'm gonna go and do that. And now I'm gonna go and fold in this press. Okay, and then go on this side, you do exactly the same. Now we go on the inside out. It's beautiful days today. It's like 60 something to go and press. You're gonna press and then you go into INR around, okay? So we can toss it. Okay, now you're gonna go and iron this all around. After you iron all around, you're gonna top stitch the whole thing on the top, okay? So that I don't need to show you. So go and top stitch. That is that everyone, it reversible. You can use this side or you can use the other side. So let's just see the length, the long, it's nine inches. And then the wide side, it's six and in and, and, uh, three quarter up and in. And the high is two inches. So cute. And if you don't like this side, you can turn into this side. Just, my goodness, my dread. You can do this. Do it the other side. Okay. It's the oval shape and it's so cute. Very so easy cute to and make. And it's easy to make to everyone. The, um, the template will be in my description for you to bring it out and, um, and to make it your own. Make it sturdier, you need to ask the heavier interfacing, okay? But this is good enough for me. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And also click on the, the bell notification so every time I upload a video, you get notified. Stay safe. Love you.